Okay, we're next going to talk about anterior thigh muscles and specifically identify the muscles of the anterior thigh, think quads and the sartorial muscle, including primary actions and innervation. All right, so here are the anterior thigh muscles, sartorius, pectineus, and then our four quads. Um, and our focus is going to be on the sartorius and the quads. So let's start with the sartorius. The sartorius is the longest muscle in the body. It arises from the anterior superior iliac spine, and it courses laterally, and then down it's going to cross medially, go right behind the knee joint, and then insert medial to the tibial tuberosity. And its main functions are going to flex, abduct, and externally rotate the hip. There's our pectineus. This arises from the pectineal line of the pubis and goes to the pectineal line of the femur. Unless some of the surgeons talk about this during their lectures, I'm not going to be focusing on the pectineus. But because it's part of this group of muscles and innervated by the femoral nerve, that's why it's included. Our next is our vastus lateralis. Vastus because it's big, lateralis because it's lateral. And so this vastus lateralis arises from the linea aspera and part of the femur. And then it courses down and it starts to engulf this, or its tendon engulfs this patella, and then it inserts on the tibial tuberosity. You're going to see all these four quads are going to attach to this tibial tuberosity. The rectus femoris gets its name because rectus means straight, and it's this big straight muscle on the front of the femur. It arises from the anterior inferior iliac spine. It's also the only one of the quads that will cross the hip joint, so it is a uh, a, a weak hip flexor. And the rectus femoris then courses down, as with the vastus lateralis, the tendon engulfs the patella and it inserts on the tibial tuberosity. And then we also have the vastus medialis, and this muscle is going to arise from the uh, linea aspera on its posterior surface and then course all the way down. The tendon engulfs the patella and it inserts on the tibial tuberosity. And then we're going to then dissect through the rectus femoris, which is in blue, and see deep to it, which is shown only on the left and not on the right, the vastus intermedius. And it is a big muscle between the vastus medialis and lateralis. It arises from the front of the femur. Its tendon engulfs the patella, and it inserts on the tibial tuberosity. So there we have the uh, muscles of sartorius, pectineus, and then our four quadriceps muscles. And those four quadriceps insert on the tibial tuberosity, and they're all going to extend the knee. All right, now let's take a look uh, at the actions of these quadriceps femoris muscles. And as I mentioned, it's knee extension. And so here we've got a picture, a lateral picture of the knee joint. And the femur articulating at that dotted round circle, which is showing this hinge joint of the knee, and then the tibia. When this muscle contracts, it straightens the knee, or in other words, it will extend the knee in knee extension. It crosses in front of the knee, and it extends the knee joint. Then let's also talk about innervation of the um, anterior thigh muscles. So it's, they're basically all through this femoral nerve, and when you see this. Uh, group of illustrations on the left with the spinal cord levels. Let's focus on the L2, L3, and L4 spinal cord level. And we're going to put in these motor neurons in the ventral horn. And these motor neurons are going to course out the ventral rami and unite to form this femoral nerve. And this femoral nerve is going to innervate all the anterior thigh muscles. Now the focus, the more one of the more clinically relevant aspects of this is the quadriceps femoris group and notice that the L4 level is highlighted. So in innervating the quads, the ones that are part of forming that L4 myotome, the L4 level of this femoral nerve going to the quadriceps that extend the knee is where the emphasis is at. Okay, so there we've got, you see that star, that showing that L4 level highlighted. Now, anterior thigh muscles in a nutshell. The anterior thigh muscles, and focusing on the four quadriceps muscles, are all innervated by the femoral nerve with an emphasis on the L4 level. These four quads insert on the tibial tuberosity, that bump in front of the tibia, and they all form knee extension.